What are you eating? Got a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. There's a lot of orange juice you're drinking there, buddy. Well, man, it's high in calcium and vitamin D. You know, it's it's not though. They keep that shit in giant vats underground for years at a time before they ship it out. No, they fucking. Yes, they don't. do, dude. Look it up. No, they don't. Fresh they squeeze don't or nothing. Do. That's not true. I didn't hear that on TikTok. I knew that because I knew a guy who worked for the citrus industry. You knew someone that worked in Big Citrus. I know a guy in Big Citrus. I knew him. He, he knew too much and they got rid of him. They locked him up and made him get scurvy. It's true. Product, product video, I'm back. This is like a one-on-one -on -one thing. I'm like a cam girl. Nate's my fucking muse. He's about to send me a galaxy if I crank my shit. It's almost Halloween. Granted, you guys know I don't celebrate pagan holidays or you know worship false idols like a lot of other people, because I'm a good Christian man. But I do enjoy candy, and we're gonna talk about my favorite Halloween candies, Nate's favorite Halloween candies. Our neighborhood, like the grocery store by our crib in LA, they sell the packs of full-size fucking candy bars, which means I'm in like a rich neighborhood, which means I need to commandeer a fucking kid. I wanna go trick-or-treating, I just can't, because I'm a fucking 35-year-old man. I'll take someone's kid trick-or-treating, if they want. I just want my cut, I want half. Half is a lot. I'm doing all the legwork. Let me cherry pick. We'll see. He can keep all the fucking red vines. We got this chrome hearts. I guess it's like a belt loop thing, you know, like keychain situation kind of. It's cool. Yeah, it's got silver. A neighborhood. It's still in the goddamn plastic. It's like a souvenir jacket though. If this shit was capital, it'd be worth like a fucking grand. It's not, it's neighborhood. This is like the ultimate unk you weren't there streetwear brand, you know, like this is for dudes who were like, going to Japan when like Nigo was still with Bape, you know, type shit. It's like a velvet. We got a lot of Supreme actually today. We got a PCL, Power Corruption Lies, classic. We got this bad boy, Supreme LV. It fits me, it's a 4L. I love this item, 4L. It's a banger, they're hard to find real ones. We got a Saint Laurent like little backpack. It's really nice leather. Swag. We got a Vetmont hoodie. And what is GMBH? Is that the is that the drug, the date rape drug? I think so. That would make sense that the dudes from Vetmont are taking that and banging each other. Or the, the people. No judgment. No judgment. Martine Rose Air Monarchs, the bulbous joints. Yes. Go crazy. Brand new. Last but not least, we got this Combe des Garcon PT Barnum ass jacket. It's like a circus conductor. All right. Halloween candy, it's all about chocolate. I'm a big chocolate guy. As you can tell by my physique, if I was more into like gummies and shit, it would probably speak towards a more healthy lifestyle and a more healthy relationship with food that I don't have. People who like chocolate are generally fat and gluttonous. People who like gummies are like the people who will like go eat an acai bowl. Like I'm gonna go get a breakfast burrito over an acai bowl any day of the fucking week. Well also it helps like with the mewing and like your jawline cause you gotta like- I ate a Haribo gummy the other day. Let me tell you, texture, it was horrible. Haribos are good ostensibly, but they have a gross texture. Well, it's, it's definitely like 1940s candy. I do like a Mary Jane, I ain't gonna hold you. I probably have too many crowns now to eat them, but as a child, I liked them. Those things will pull your goddamn crowns out. This is unk talk right here, y'all. All right, so chocolate-wise, what, what are we talking about? Like, what are we about? I'm fucking with like Reese's. Peanut butter cups are probably top tier. I like a Kit Kat. I fuck, Snickers are good. A Milky Way's good, you know, like that type of shit. Three Musketeers are a bit gross, but like, here's the thing, as you know, once I get desperate enough, I will eat the worst candy possible. <laughs> You've lived with me, you'll know. There's like, there's gonna be a bag of like the dregs or something, and eventually I'm gonna get up and go eat through that shit, whether or not I actually like it. Three Musketeers are gross, but they're getting eaten eventually. It might be mid-November, but they're getting eaten. Dude, it's, it's, that's always about the consistency for me, just like biting through it, and there's just nothing like boneless candy. Yeah, it is like boneless candy. You need like peanuts or something. I like a Heath bar, like a toffee situation. You don't get those that much anymore. Butterfingers, which is like a forgotten candy. Probably the best candy bar. I like chocolate peanut butter. You know, I'm a big peanut butter guy. I'm like the white George Washington Carver. I love peanuts, bro. What are your thoughts on, uh, let's say Skittles? Can't trust someone who shakes Skittles around in their hand and eats them like this. You can never trust someone who does that. They're up to no good. Those freeze-dried Skittles you'd be ordering off the TikTok shop, or at least I do, they're gas. They're so much better. Freeze-drying a, a candy like that will always improve the texture. So like, back to it. If you're gonna go trick-or-treating or you're into Halloween candy, you need to find the rich neighborhood that gives out the full-size candy bars. That's true wealth 
first world, America has the best economy in the world. Like that speaks to how strong the American economy is. The average British person makes like 32,000 pounds a year or something, you know, like our median income is like double that. The rest of the world is floundering and y'all may think that there's a recession going on. The Halloween candy that we're seeing speaks to how strong our economy is. I think it's a good indicator. They're selling the fucking, it's only 25 bucks for the 20 pack of the fucking candy at Gelson's in the Valley. I'll fuck with the I'll fuck with candy corn. Like I I am not too good for a candy corn. That is actually really crazy. I did not expect to hear that. They're kind of gas. I'm fucking candy corn. That's great depression food. Is what it is. Catch me at the soup kitchen line. You know what's interesting is like the depression era Halloween esque like Halloween exclusive candy. The only place you can really buy it year round is the is the Cracker Barrel country store. What do you think about people handing out like apples, like candied apples and shit like that? Bro, I will fucking spin the block and air your shit out. I'm gonna go buy a switch if you fucking hand me an apple. I, there's a story that I'm gonna be remiss if I don't tell, which my parents love is. I thought I was like allergic to nuts when I was a kid. It's just because I didn't want to like eat them. I thought that I was gonna choke on them. And so I was trick or treating when I was like five or six. And I would go up to people and be like, yo, like trick or treat, like I don't want nuts basically. And they would like give me bread instead. They'd give me like money. Really? Yeah, it happened like a few times as a child. That's so hard. Yeah, it's kind of sick. Listen, no tricks over here. Every day's a treat at Luke's NYC, LA, whatever. Do we have anything else? I think that's it. That was a good one. All right, cool. Thanks, Nate. <laughs>